Hey, welcome back to Juice Moose. Today we're going to talk about brakes, squeaky brakes, brake pads that have been contaminated with oil. Have a look at these ones. So I'm pulling on that with my finger, it's not stopping, and it's squeaking. Now most people would just throw those brake pads out. Today I'm going to show you how you're going to save them and make them as good as new. Alright, here we go. This exercise just need two things: a little blowtorch, you can get them pretty cheap, you can get bunnings, and a bit of isoprenolol wipe. And what you're going to do? Simple. You're going to rip these out. Brake pads. Just check them while you're there. See, there's lots of brake pads still left on that. It's got a good lot of good life. Some people they like to um, spray like. I met one guy who sprayed WD-40 on this. Destroys it. Don't put oil. Don't put. Brake cleaner on that, it wrecks it. Even brake cleaner does, motorbike stuff. So what you want to do is you want to take these out. And then you want to... Fortunately. Let them cool down. And then they will be ready to go. And then what you want to do with the back, just in case someone's contaminated them or touched them, get a bit of isoprenal alcohol and clean these brake pad, uh, brake rotors. Give them a nice clean. Stick those brake pads in and then bed them back in. So when I say bed them, what you're going to do is you're going to go down, down a hill slightly touch the brake, heat that brake pad up and then start grabbing it to get that compound back onto this um, brake rotor and it'll be as good as new and not squeaky and you don't have to buy a brand new set of pads. Alright, I'll do the front and we'll go do a test run, alright? Alright, I'm just going to do the front now, same thing. Look, plenty of brake pad, squeaky as heck, doesn't stop you unfortunately. And we're just gonna pick these guys up again. That's it. And then the same thing on the front. Turn my alcohol. Clean those rotors. And then we're going to do a test run to see if they're much more powerful. They had no stopping power before, as you saw. We were grabbing that brake. They were squeaking. Who knows how they got contaminated. Sometimes it's the bikes that are workshop and where you know, people are spraying different sprays, W40, even in the distance, the little aerosols can get on it and contaminate the rotors, which then contaminate the pads. But as a general rule, don't touch your fingers on these because they have a bit of oil on them. And don't spray anything on them either, as I've seen a lot of people do. And you'll be right. Oh, good. Okay, so I'm going to put some gloves on because those those brake pads are still going to be super hot. So don't be. We want to be riding. We don't want to be sitting here all day waiting for them to, to cool down. So I'm just going to pop them straight back in. There we go. Stick the pin in. Give that little bend so they don't come back out. You can also buy um, upgrade pins, upgrade um, screw pins, which are better for some models, so that's probably something worth looking into. Pop the front ones in. And then we're going to go for a test run. Now, remember to bed your brakes in afterwards. They won't be powerful straight out, but as soon as you bed them in, they're going to be as good as new. Do that pin. And time for a test ride. Here, 
bring the camera nice and close, no more squeaking. See? No more squeaking, and if I'm holding the brake, it moves a tiny bit, but as soon as I sped it in, it won't move anymore. So we've got the power back, we've lost the squeak, we've saved ourselves, you know, what, 60 bucks in brake pads? All right, let's have a look. What's the first thing you notice about the brakes? It doesn't squeak, and yeah. it's more, it's more grippier than last time. Before it was a bit more slippery. Oh, he's might be able to lock them up now. Yeah, I can lock there it you up. Go. Starting to bed them in. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you. So brakes are as good as new. Try it, you won't be disappointed. Don't buy new brake pads, just fix yours. Easy fix. Alright, Juice Moose signing out.